uh, share with you before we get into your stress responses. So please uh, have your notebook handy. I want to introduce you a couple more ideas. Uh, we left talking about this yesterday. Um, what can we decide? What can we decide is the connection between is the connection between um, stress and health. What we talked about yesterday, kind of in summary. Yes, Paula. Good work. We talked about the, the link between health and illness can sometimes, sorry, between stress and illness can sometimes be uh, behaviorally related. The idea that, that uh, lifestyle choices play a part in how our physiological health turns out is kind of where we ended up yesterday. And we talked a little bit about some of the causes of these particular uh, diseases as being lifestyle related. And we talked about the McDonald's that you all eat every week. We talked about the cigarettes that you smoke and the alcohol that you drink and other behavioral and behaviorally related um, activities that you do that make um, sometimes ill health uh, the outcome. And one of that we didn't talk about that I do want to mention is that, is that behavior is not always a positive action. Um, is there a behavior that we are is it, is it behavior is not always a positive action. Um, is there a behavior that we avoid doing that can contribute to this? Like like what? Like avoiding eating? Or avoiding What's a behavior that we avoid that can lead to some of these? Smoking. Smoking. No, we avoid. I'm talking we don't do. Uh, exercise. Thank you very much. How many people get regular exercise on a daily basis? Uh, your gym class? B. B. Yeah. I heard you guys like papers and stuff in gym class now. Like, do computer research. And Sometimes. Oh, oh, you're late. Oh, you're late. Um, so, behavioral choices can involve also the elimination of a particular behavior. How many people have gone home and decided that they're too tired to go to the gym or they're too tired to go for a run? Has that ever happened to you before? Those are behavioral choices to have. Okay. Let's move on. Correct. Correct. I like this. And maybe we can fill this in a little bit more, too. Do you know what the CDC is? Center for Disease Control. We mentioned them yesterday in reference to that tuberculosis case, uh, the, the rare strain or uh, tuberculosis that was on the plane uh, a couple years ago. Half of all the deaths in the United States are due to people's behaviors. Half. Not maybe primary cause, but a related cause. Could be something that has to do with our behavior. I wrote down a couple up here. Smoking up the test. You want to give me some more? Like, Stress is a result of behavior. You mean behavior. What, drinking and driving? Drinking and driving, sure, absolutely. Running backwards. Running backwards. Leading cause of death among perhaps people involved in yellow. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> Eating unhealthily, for sure. For sure. What else? Give me some more. Behaviors. Lack of sleep. Is that a choice sometimes? It is a choice sometimes. We mentioned that maybe yesterday or maybe it was the third period, I'm not sure. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. It's always a choice. How many people can fall asleep when they go lie down and, and relatively quickly? How many people can fall asleep relatively quickly given the opportunity? Yes? How many people lie in bed and toss and turn? You think that's stress related? Potentially? What are you thinking about while you're tossing and turning? You're thinking about sleeping? Sleep. The homework that you didn't do, the test that you didn't take. Last night for me, it was whether or not my son was going to be sick this morning because he got a little sick in his bed last night. What's that? Mean? What's that? He's not. You know what we discovered was too much birthday cake. That's what we discovered was. But I was nervous to well, what's happening. What's what the stressor I was under last night? Do I have to call for a sub? Do I have to call in? Am I going to miss a day? Do I have to run into school at four in the morning and put together a lesson plan for you guys so that you're engaged and you're learning while I'm home taking care of someone who's throwing up? What's that? Work stress is an important part too, for sure. Um, how about this? There's a few health and behavioral. 
behavioral medicine that's starting to link these two concepts together. The idea that um, behavior is also uh, um, a part of uh, medicine, uh, and that's what behavioral uh, medicine is all about. The idea that we're trying to find links between how our behavior informs our physiological health. And I just wanted to write the term down because it's kind of an interesting new, um, not new, but newer field of, of, uh, of psychology. Um, and it, it, these are people are studying this at, at, in, in MD programs, people are studying it in, in, uh, in clinical psychological programs too. So it's, it's kind of, it kind of helps bridge the gap between physiological medicine uh, and psychological uh, 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 knowledge. So behavioral medicine is one, and on the next screen, I want to show you something called health psychology, which is also very similar, but seems to reside squarely in the field of psychology. Wait, so by this, do you mean like if people think something works, it works? That could be part of it. We talked about the placebo effect yesterday. We talked about the connection between mind and body and how more often than not, when you feel good psychologically, you can, you can become better uh, feeling physiologically. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. My brother like, is like an internship at our nutrition, and um, there's like a spider thing called like emergency. Like, it's yes. It's like this, just like how you put in like a drink. Have you seen that emergency? Oh, yeah, it's like, My wife uses it constantly. It's, it's a oh, powder you pour into a water bottle and shake it up. Yeah, and so, apparently, while my brother's doing this internship, like, the pediatrician was like going on, went on a tiny rant about emergency, saying it didn't work, and it's just because it's fake. Well, uh, that's essentially what we're talking about. Um, if you believe it's going to help you, um, then maybe it will. Now, is it really helping you? It's going to take an experiment to figure that out. But uh, the connection between mind and body is very.